what is going on everyone and welcome back to more black desert so today i wanted to talk about something that a lot of you guys have been asking me actually and it's actually not as exciting as some people make it out to be but it's what veteran players do on a day-to-day -day, or like what i do at least and um i remember when i first started there was always something to do and even now like i can find something to do in this game but i remember like my first year playing this game there's always a goal i mean there is now but there's like goal after goal which is easy to accomplish and then as you get uh further into the game it's harder to progress as you may imagine like gear is more expensive or it's just really hard to get so i wanted to give you guys a little rundown of what i usually do in a day how i make silver and everything um, but it usually depends. It depends on the day. Some days I just feel like grinding for like six hours. Some days I don't. Some days I feel like life skilling. But here are some things that I do just on a regular. And hopefully you guys will figure something you guys enjoy doing. But here's what I do. So let's say I wake up and I get onto this game. So back in the day, I used to leave my computer on like all night 24-7 and then just have it like AFK fishing or whatever. Honestly, nowadays, I just don't do that anymore because it's like AFK activities are not really as profitable as they used to be. So I've been playing this game since the beta and I've seen changes happen throughout like the seven years of this game, at least on NA and EU. So... Everything used to be different in terms of like the economy, grinding, life skilling. So I've seen it all. And back in the day, you would overnight fish and then you like obviously trade, sell all those fish that you got overnight and made some profit. And that was like actually worth something. But nowadays, like you wake up in the morning, if you're fishing, you maybe get like 10 15 mil on average some days you get like the super rare fish and then trade it for like 50 mil or something but overall it's not worth it to me so i just like i actually just turn off my computer most of the time unless there's a very special event where it's worth keeping it on but so yeah wake up in the morning get on bdo what do i do so usually if you leave your thing on you would probably have max energy right and what I would do is generally in the morning, I would dump my energy gathering, right? And so I'm actually Guru 18 on gathering. I've been doing it for a while. It's actually really slow after a certain point. And I guess I've just been doing it for a while. But and honestly, nowadays it's not that bad. So one thing I would recommend you guys to do is figure out how to do Imperial trading or delivery as they call it. So in Heidel, I'm pretty sure there's some in other towns, but I always just use Heidel. Um, <clears throat> you have this. So we're going to look at this number right here. Your contribution points, uh, 420. But anyway, take this number, right? Your total contribution points and then divide it by two. That's how many turn-ins you can do. And I did this a little bit before, so we didn't we don't waste time. And I make guru boxes. So you look at your cooking level and whatever it is like master guru or something you make the highest level boxes and so you take your contribution divided by two and then turn in boxes for profit so what you do is make sure to turn on like all your or like as much life skill stuff in terms of like cooking mastery and make sure you have that on artifacts and everything and you just get some free money every day so See, like a 15 mil in my inventory. Dump that. We suddenly have 250. Easy money, right? <clears throat> so that's one thing. And then sometimes you get like the extra bonuses, but that's cool. And so that's something I try to do every day. Um, then you get some Imperial Steel or the Golden Seals. And then we, I usually save up for the 10,000 one, which is like 50 days or something. And then it's, it's not really that much, but you just save them up until you think you need it for something. And then we do that. So that's another, like, depending on your contribution points. Um, even if you were to buy materials off the market and then just straight up turn it into boxes, it's really quick to do that. And it's like an easy, maybe like, I guess depends on how many contribution points you have, but at least 100 mil for me. 
profit after sales and everything calculating. So that's something I would recommend you guys doing if you are a new player. It's very easy, silver. Um, try to push your cooking up by doing whatever. And then that. So after that, like, let's say this is midday or something, or I guess evening, whenever you guys get off work. Um, your life skilling, your energy is not full. You made like a few hundred mil off of that. Then you did your Imperial turn-ins. That's another hundred or so. Being in a guild and having your family fame also gives you money daily, right? So for me personally, it's about like 17 and a half million which is not a lot technically, but it's just like free money for like having an account. So that's pretty, pretty nice. And then what else do I do? I try to use my Marnie hour for grinding every day. Now I know some people is like, it's not worth it or something, but if you just have an open spot, but for all of you who are like really casual or don't like grinding as much, try to do at least your Marnie hour a day if you can, because Overall, it's I hate to say this, but grinding is generally more money than life skilling unless you are at the very like 1% and you have a setup going and then life skilling could be more profitable than grinding an hour. But at that point, it's like you are probably at the 1%. So for the most part, mid tier players and like beginners, I would just say do an hour of grinding. It's generally going to be more money than life skilling until you actually figure everything out and have a setup going. Um, so yeah, after that, we just made, let's say we made like 500 mil, right? just like casual playing, an hour of grind, a little bit of life skill gathering, and then your Imperials, then what do you do? So, a little bit after that, as you guys know, being in a guild, um, PvP is a thing. I know not everyone enjoys it, but, uh, I generally go do war every now and then when I'm free. And usually, if if you lose, you get a box, right? And so you get this box. I'm going to show you exactly what's in it. And so that was from today's war, actually. Uh, we actually just got rolled. But yeah, so here's this. You get 100 million silver, another 50 million. So that's 150 million just for like going to war, right? It doesn't matter if you win or lose. You participated in war. You get 150 mil every everyone gets it right so just by showing you like what i'm doing we just easy 400 mil that's not even including like the activities of active playing every day <clears throat> and so i would recommend people doing that join a guild that does war even if you guys don't win you get something and these two essences right they allow you to craft crystals and um basically you could turn them into uh, special evasions and the PVE or PVP glorious crystals. So I could show you that what it is actually. So for PVE ears, you get these purple crystals, right? With the pink like essences, you use those and you can make that one. For PVP ears, you can make the uh, PVP crystals and you can technically make this one it gives you one of the three options but overall i mean you can just buy it nowadays so you make these crystals it's very helpful and um so after a while you just get a lot of silver <clears throat> and yeah so that's like the basics of what i do on a daily and make sure for all of you guys who have never seen this i'll show you what you can actually do with these uh pvp medal of honor things so what i've been doing actually was taking these right and then buying like these books and what these do and why you should do it is you take these and then obviously you have to buy them in order right and for all of you who are interested in pvping and everything oh actually uh let me i switch this out every now and then Alright, alright, cool. Let me resave that. Cool. So you could like reset these, and these are all for like node wars and like PvP stuff during special times. And you could basically get extra DP. And in case you guys are wondering, low key, 
usually the magic evasion and magic dp is worth a little bit more because i hate to say this but right now in the current meta at least on na casters are pretty strong and like megu just deletes everything until they get nerfed soon so i usually have this but you can always swap them out and then you just buy them from the military supply person and you you do that basically on all your characters so in over a day you guys even like all of you can uh make a few hundred million silver a couple billion and so let's see in the morning we dump our energy for life skilling right then we do like an hour of grinding at least an hour depending on the mood uh, i guess or the day that could be like up to a billion like technically at my level i can make like a billion an hour grinding but i would say for your average person let's say you have full pen to vala gear if you're at centaurs you're probably making like at least like 400 500 mil an hour which is pretty good actually for a newer player and then so after all that let's say you can make like 200 300 mil an hour dumping all your energy uh gathering let's just say that's probably like 700 800 mil <clears throat> and then your imperial deliveries plus uh if you go to node wars that's another 150 and then imperial deliveries obviously just depends on uh your total number of contribution and so that's like over a billion silver a day just by like playing very casually you don't like when you hear people saying oh i make so much silver a day and those are usually people who just grind like 10 hours a day yeah they make a lot but for all of you just do like an hour a day doing whatever and then um you just get a lot of money and sometimes you might find something that's fun um i'd recommend all of you guys to at least try to find a life skill that you guys enjoy um the profitable ones in my opinion are gathering obviously hunting cooking uh I wouldn't say alchemy is profitable, but you need to do it at some point because high-end grind spots, you kind of need to do full elixir rotations. Um, yeah, that's about it. But anyway, everything can be... There's a goal you can set for everything. And so, what else gets you profit? Let's say now you're over a billion silver a day, right? What else do you do? You roll your dice every now and then, like three, three a day. And you guys, if you browse Reddit or the forums or anything, or the Discord, you see screenshots of people who have, like, 3,000 dice. Uh, like, I get it. Some people want to save and just do it all at once, make a video or something. Easy content. But trust me when I say, if you're trying to roll, like, 3,000 of them in one sitting, that is actually the most tedious thing. Because every now and then they give you like a box of dice that gives you all of them like 10 15 of them and even then that's kind of annoying to do because you have to like if you're actually playing the black spirit adventure to like min max you kind of have to like calculate numbers and it's just like just roll your dice daily and hope for the best and then overall you'll get a decent amount of silver just by like doing this it's just passive so what i could show you is like every 10 or something or like every yeah, I think every 10, you get a spe Black Spirit special box. And then that's just, like, free money for whatever. And then you get a box for finishing that. And then, plus all the rewards that you get of, like, overall dailies. Um, also, make sure to do your Rift bosses. I know everyone says it's kind of tedious, and most of the time it's not really worth it. But the reason why I would recommend you guys doing it is because... If you are a newer player and you're wondering how you get like fail stacks and <clears throat> mem frags and everything, I would recommend doing this and getting like the Dark Spirit Screed and then figuring out what you need with these items. So what I turned them into is basically I turned them into the auras and then turned those into the NPCs for mem frags. And so that's kind of how I fund a little bit of my enhancing, which you guys have seen a lot of videos of. But uh, if you guys are obviously life skillers, <clears throat> then um, the cooking utensils or alchemy utensils are also pretty solid. Back in the day, I would us usually pick up those 50 stacks, right? Like the ones that cost 100. That's not really worth it anymore because everyone can make a 50 stack super easily. 
Um, so I would recommend getting like mem frags because those that have an actual value to it. Obviously, fail stacking has some sort of monetary value in a way, but you like you can't sell the stack. You have to your profit comes from turning that fail stack into an item. So that's a little bit more complicated. You have to like actually understand how profit margins work. But so just for your average player, just turn it into mem frags or like life skill tools and then you make the item and then you turn those into profit. So every week you get about like 10 to 12 rift thingies. You just do those every week. Um, I think technically if you're trying to min max, you should probably do them as they spawn. Because if you wait like to do like the way I think of it, I don't know if this is tinfoil or not. Is I know some people wait till uh, Tuesday night with, and then Wednesday is obviously maintenance, right? They just do them all right before maintenance and then they all seem to come back at the same time. So I would just recommend doing them as you get them. And <clears throat> another thing, this is kind of annoying to do, but I wish there was a better way. So you take these quests, right? And then what I usually do <clears throat> is I usually take the awakened one, right? And every day, I guess this is more like a newer player, newer to mid tier tip for everyone. You get these scrolls, right? The awakened ones. And then when you get five of them, you turn it into a scroll over here for like awakened one. Now these aren't like the most silver, but you could get like pretty notable items that like if you run a lot of them you'll just make a decent chunk of silver so either way take your scrolls daily it doesn't matter if you run them ever just like just know that you could turn that into money um obviously they were more profitable back in the day than they are now but if you run them in a group then they're probably worth doing i still pick them up and every now and then we'll do them so let's see I guess we could say we're maybe at like one in at least one billion, maybe one and a half billion if you're just following like a weekly or daily schedule, which is something I'd recommend a lot of people doing because BDO is a sandbox MMO ultim ultimately. And unlike your traditional MMOs where you're just like, oh, max level, do the end game dungeons and raids, get the best gear, quit till the next expansion. This one has like slow progression in terms of your goals. So it's really good to get into a daily routine of figuring out what you want to do and then just doing it, right? So <clears throat> that's kind of my daily routine. Plus another thing is what I do is I actually set farms. Now, a lot of people may not know why. And if you look up like anything, people will be like, oh, farming is not really worth it. Now, that's kind of true, but there's a reason why you do this. And I think farming is important. It's just like you're not going to see big gains like you would be doing an hour of gathering, right? So you guys may be wondering, why am I doing magical strawberries? The answer is because it fits my time schedule and uh, I actually need the uh, fruit of abundance. Uh, where is it? Yeah, these thingies. And so there's like a guide out there or just some sort of like chart that tells you where is the best place to put your farms. Um, what the best fruits to min max time and efficiency. But ultimately, if you are trying to max out your level for farming or <clears throat> get to a certain goal, it's better to do the blue seeds and do 10 by 10s because you'll get the most XP out of it. I personally do magicals because I'm lazy. And uh, the real truth about farming is once you get past Master 1, level is kind of irrelevant because at Master 1, you can get Old Moon farms, right? Which is what I have here. And if you don't have Old Moon farms, they basically look like this but they're bigger. So you're gonna, it's like playing Tetris, but more annoying. So the farms are basically smaller. You can get them all into like a condensed pack. And so that's just a little thing, but <clears throat> ultimately farming is a very quick activity. 
And at least how I do it anyway. So I'll show you once we get them all. Uh, you get these leaves right now. And back in the day, they used to actually give you more like byproducts that you had to combine 20 and 20, which is actually really annoying because you have to like calculate how to mathematically, I don't know, like combine all of their byproducts into an item or the stone tail fodder, which I'm glad they changed the system because it's just like a quality of life that I do think it's, it feels like you make a little bit less compared to the old method, but I'm not really too sure. I never really looked at the math too closely, but it's a nice quality of life change. And so that's something I do like once or twice a day. See, we just set our farms. If you're doing 10 by 10 blues, that, it's gonna take you a little bit longer. But the reason why we do this is because we get these blush leaves, right? And usually if you're trying to push uh, contributions for more Imperial deliveries that we saw earlier, right? A lot of these you could turn into farming XP and contribution points. And so you'll level up faster by doing various life skills and everything. So that's why I would also recommend doing this. In terms of silver, you don't actually make a lot. You just like, you could sell your extras. And so, like right now in the past 20 minutes, you've seen me make like 400 mil. Just by literally Imperial deliveries, going to war, getting the reward. And um, <clears throat> that was really simple. And then farming. Uh, technically, if you really need money or you're trying to go for a dream horse, I would recommend taking the stone tail fodders. But if you're just trying to push contribution and everything, that's the next best option as well. And so sometimes you get extra rewards. And I guess for newer players and everything, one thing I'd recommend is going for your infinite potions. Now, I can't stress this enough that if you are progressing at like a quicker pace or you just don't know what to do, this is in general a good thing to go for once a week um, at very minimum. Um, you would always go for this and then... As a general rule, I like to tell everyone, no matter what class you play, the infinite HP potion is worth a lot more than the MP one. Obviously, both of them are nice to have, but if you plan on doing any sort of high-end grinding, never having to think about buying potions again is probably one of the most valuable things. You don't think so now. We are just like, oh, it's only what, like 2,000 silver per potion. I could afford that easy. But just never having to think about buying potions again is probably the greatest thing. So, that's what I did back in the day. I was just going for potions, grind an hour there if you don't know where to grind. And so, I guess now we could say we're about like middle of the day to evening where we're just trying to like wind down, do whatever. So then, chances are if you leave your game on, right? Your energy will be full again. So you figure out, okay, so do I want to make another uh, like 200, 300 million silver? Just dump your energy again by gathering. Same thing you did in the morning. And generally that's another bit. So from very casual playing, you could probably make like one and a half, two billion silver a day. Just by like, not you don't even grind for like six hours a day. So... I guess the big conclusion or thing that a lot of you guys may be wondering is how much do veteran players actually spend like playing the game actively? And I would say for me, <clears throat> if I were to calculate on an average day, I think I spend maybe like two to four hours just like actively doing something. And even then, of those active times, it's me just like literally watching like a stream instead of, you know, your average person uh, who's not really a gamer. They just get home from work and they watch TV, right? Me is just like watching a live stream or some like content creator and then me like processing a life skilling, doing semi, semi, semi AFK activity on the side. That's still money as well. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I know this video is kind of all over the place,
but a lot of people have just asked me, what do you do on a daily? And that's really it. So even in this video, you saw me make like 400 mil. Um, and that's not even including how much I grind, um, how much I life skill and everything. So as a casual player, things I would recommend to you guys, make multiple characters if you have those available slots. Uh, a lot of your income will come from combat fame and then everything else just by playing the game normally. So you'll get more uh, silver daily. Just by logging in, join a guild, do some wars. It doesn't matter if you win the war or not. You get a free 150 mil at minimum. And yeah, just play the game. You make at least a billion a day. Easy. So <clears throat> before I head out, I'm curious to know, what are your daily routines? What do you do on a daily in this game? And some people like grinding 10 hours a day. I know... I know a lot of people that do that. They make a lot of silver, but after playing this game for seven years, like I wish I enjoyed this game as much as I did my first two years of the game. Not to say that I don't like it now. I still enjoy BDO, but I just can't grind 10 hours a day anymore. Plus I'm getting older. Can't do that anymore. So yeah, with that said, Hopefully you enjoyed this little insight of what I do. And um, yeah, for all the people who think this game is super pay to win and you're never going to catch up, trust me when I say that's not actually it. I haven't spent money or well, like I don't really buy pearls often when they do the one plus one sale where it's like $60, you get double value or something. That's like the only time I buy pearls these days. I don't buy costumes off the market. I will. I buy them. Oh, I'm on the NA server. Other people buy them and I buy them with silver, but that's like a whole different story. But um, yeah, I haven't like spent any of my own money on this game in quite a while. The only thing that I would recommend most people is like the value pack and stuff. But I have a whole nother video about Pearl Shop items. I'm not going to get into it, but hopefully... You enjoyed this long rant. Why? Well, I wouldn't really call it a rant. It's more just me explaining what I do on a daily. So, yeah. What do you guys do? And with that said, I'm out for today. Thanks so much for watching. If you are new to the channel, would love to see you guys come back. Hit that subscribe button. And hopefully you guys are learning something with all these videos. And yeah, would love to see you come back. Peace.